All right, so this is the first episode. All right, so this is the first episode of Near Automata version 1.1a. I don't really know much about the game. I remember maybe only seeing like a few minutes of gameplay of it, but I never really got interested enough to play the game or even watch anybody else play the game, you know, and, and get into the story. But I did read the summary on Crunchyroll before watching this episode and <laughs> the entire premise just reminds me of Nikkei Goddess of Victory, which is a mobile game I may or may not be playing a little bit too much nowadays. <laughs> <laughs> or, technically, it's the other way around since Nikkei came out after Near Automa. Automa? Automata. Anyways, I'm not really sure what to expect other than me making stupid jokes about Nikkei at some point, but, you know, we'll cross that bridge when we get there. But if you like my reaction and or discussion by the end of this, you know, feel free to leave a like. And if you didn't like it, then feel free to leave a dislike. It's, it's there for a reason, even though YouTube tries to hide it. But if you do like my videos and you find yourself coming back at least every week, I would recommend you to subscribe if you haven't. Because you know what? If all the returning viewers actually came and subscribed back to my channel, I would probably have like a thousand subscribers by now but <laughs> this is what I get for having the first year of me taking this channel seriously and not saying to subscribe because people just forget anyways I'm, I'm going off on a ramble something about patreon blah 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 let's get started The hymns, oddly enough, reminds me of Demon Slayer. I, I did want to say it really f that the hymns itself just feels like a traditional, traditional song, <laughs> which I'm always a sucker for when it comes to like a mix of modern and traditionalist songs. Traditionalist, traditional. What is that? Two B. I, I think that looked like a, a three model for her inside the. God, how fucking claustrophobic I'd be if I had to fly through that shit. Okay. I don't know what I was gonna- <laughs> I don't know what to say about the opening. Not this opening, but I mean like, you know, them opening up like, you know, just them coming in. Which I do like, you know, I'm much- I'm a fan of just- my brain is continuously filling in of just Nikkei. I can't, I can't stop. Is this all 3D models or is this actually a place that's like... No, it's, it's no, this is 3D models. No, it's one way of showing the landscape and the characters at the same time. Hey, look at those beautiful lips of his. See, Ninus. Oh, everybody else died. <laughs> it's always cool when you see characters do that. They just casually take a step off and drop like that. What is gravity? It does not affect me. I felt like I saw something, but... It was just so quick, it passed me by. <laughs> what, is this some other... <laughs> what, what, is this some other uh, Goliath class? You're a 
a guy who's asking for a quick eradication. Wow. 13 hours. Oh, essentially 14 hours, huh? Oh. A defense unit. Was that what the operator said to 9S? <laughs> Good man's out here doing a little flare as he flew pa as he flew by. Oh, they're just chilling. Enemies of this nature. They just chilling. <laughs> I was thinking, I'm like, you talk too much. <laughs> Look at him doing a fucking alien roll. うん。感情を持つこと禁止されている。さあ、すみません。さんは聞けます。私の名前の継承は必要です。わかりました。ルリー。どうかしましたか? man, they wild. <laughs> Set the core unit outside. Uh oh. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god, it's forming up. <laughs> I love its tiny little head. <laughs> Jam. <laughs> what, it's a little rusty? I really like the 3D models. I just keep feeling like we're seeing something. <laughs> but I just can't see it, it just goes by too fast. Would this be like, I don't know, a mini game? In the game? <laughs> oh, and he's fallen out <laughs> right on top. Not responding to communication. Yeah, you fell like right on top of the Goliath or what? Three cores? Is it about to activate again? Damn, dude, the fucking flare that's coming out. It'll be fine. She's over here like, we shouldn't be getting too emotional, but also... Oh my god, the him! Can't stop looking at their lips, bro. Alright. 
を聞いたんですか報告敵の虐待犯より妨害電波の低下不安定ではあるがレーザー通信可能レーザーコーム That's pretty nice. Like three of them, holy shit. Oh, total of four, huh? Oh, it's black box. ベテラン戦争は滅びるような ヨルハ <laughs> Okay. <laughs> Hold on. By self-destructing at the bunker, the entire structure ended up exploding in a spectacular fashion, but hey, it sure looked pretty from Earth. So that's the, um... Okay, so that is like the... What is it? It would be like a text box from the game. Introducing the multiple endings of the video game. My brain is currently working in overtime to not think about Nikkei. <laughs> that's like the only thing that's happening in my brain right now. <laughs> All right, we're gonna we're gonna get back to the center. All right, so that was the first episode of Near Automata. Uh, let me know what you guys think about it in the comments down below. Feel free to 
let me know anything that's not spoiler related, but game related to uh, this episode because I have not, I, I, as I mentioned, I have not played this game. And at the current moment, I am feeling quite lost. I feel like I sort of have a grasp on it because of, you know, a certain uh, other game that I'm playing that I'm not gonna say, <laughs> even though I've said it already. But I, like, I, I have a grasp of the concept of the story and all of that, and we're getting to see the uh, dynamics between 2B and 9S, and just seeing, you know, in the beginning and, and how. 2B is talking about how she feels like she's, or they are, uh, or people are in this, like, endless loop of just constantly battling, because it seems like even though they, you know, touched black boxes and blew up the place, 9S was able to upload her data, so she's able to remember everything, but he's not able to remember what it was, because as he said, he didn't have enough time to... Uh, put his data into, if I remember, because that's why he did say when, while he was injured and Pod came down and he's just like, oh, since the jamming's done, you know, can we take her data? So that was probably what he was doing. So that's, uh, that's pretty nice. And <laughs> of course, we've got that dynamic of like, a, uh, of 2B, who is this person who's, mm, I would say, serious, but... It, as Nina says, she just brute force her way through everything. And Nina is the more who seems more or less lighthearted and comical and also very talkative compared to 2B. <laughs> and of course, in the, in the same episode where we see 2B says, we're not supposed to be all, we're not supposed to get all emotional. But then here's 2B getting emotional when she sees that Nina has been injured and could possibly die and all that. Although I do wonder if that is... W with the whole fact that, you know, they can die and then be re-uploaded to another body, I assume, because they're androids, it makes me wonder if, like, is this encounter not the first time? Or is it that the first time that 2B and 9S saw each other? Or... You know, is it just another case of 2B remembering and 9S not remembering? Because he did say that this is the first time he's gone to talk to anybody or it's his first time having a partner and all that. So I, I, I do wonder if that's the case or if it's the case of the beginning with 2B narrating and how she feels like she's stuck in a, in, in, in a fucking loop. And so perhaps... and. You know, during that narration, it seems like she was holding 9S, and she also had a way bigger sword. I don't know, is that endgame shit? <laughs> or these endgame items that I don't know about? <laughs> but yeah, I do wonder if it's the case of, like, this is the first time they've met, but to be just is feeling like she's, you know, lost other people before. I mean, she did technically lost a bunch of other units, but, you know, I don't, I don't know. She had She didn't really respond that emotionally. Then again, they were already dead, you know? They weren't- <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what I'm talking about. <laughs> I, I genuinely feel like a lot of- uh, a, a lot of stuff that, that was happening during this, an during this episode uh, is just going right across my head because I have not played the game. Especially towards the end, with them discussing multiple endings to the game. I did very much enjoy the puppet show. <laughs> it's very nice. I'm always uh, a big fan of when uh, anime incorporate other, like, r r quote unquote real stuff, you know, like with the puppet shows and all that. It, for some reason, reminds me of Panty and Stalking when they defeat an enemy and you get to see, like, a real life structure of them blowing up. That's a, that, that, that's a fun one. <laughs> you know, during the uh, battle scenes with 2B, uh, you know, how I kept saying, like, it feels like I'm seeing something, but I'm not. <laughs> where, where, well, obviously she's wearing, like, a dress, so, like, when she's fighting and she's doing all these moves, <laughs> at some point, it just really feels like, I'm like, was there a panty shot there? I just, I couldn't figure it out. It was, it, it was going way too fast. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know, maybe if I... If I actually take the effort or whatever and I look at it frame by frame, maybe I'll fucking find a panty shop, but whatever, I don't really. 
<laughs> it is. It, 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 it's just. Anyways, I don't really have too much else to say. You know, this isn't like me watching the Persona 4, the animation where I have played the game, so I'll understand some things. Yeah, as I mentioned before, feel free to tell me things that's not spoilery, but if it is related to the game that's in this episode, just let me know. And also, if you're so if you're somehow here at the end of the, uh, of the episode and you play Nike, Goddess of Victory, just let me know. <laughs> I'm out here looking for friends, all right? I'm on the global server. <laughs> all right, all right. But if I have anything else to say, I will write it in the description down below. Thank you guys for sticking around and I'll see you guys in the next episode.